Hi, in this video we are going to learn about the pilgrim nut. Actually I had no intention of doing this topic because uh, we have already covered the topic of propeller push up earlier. But I had repeated requests from students preparing for exams. So I have to oblige them and make them feel confident. For those of you who are into the serious business of preparation for exams and lovers of engineering, please do try and contemplate on the issue in the cartoon and message your opinion in the comments column. Challenge yourself. You are watching Chief Engineer's Tea Time Talk and I am Ramesh, the pilot who will guide you through this channel. Since I know that all of you are in a hurry, let's quickly run to the control room and move on with the topic. Keep watching, hope you enjoy it. Let us now see the withdrawal of the propeller with the help of the pilgrim nut. The pilgrim nut is nothing but a propeller nut which has its own inbuilt jack. It is completely a dry fit and removal process. Please do see the earlier video on the principles of wet fit and dry fit. The pilgrim nut consists of a nitrile rubber ring and a loading ring also called the jack ring we will shortly see its operation the first step is to remove the pilgrim nut from place and then reverse it and fit it appropriately when i say reverse the loading ring should face away from the propeller boss the next step is to fit the withdrawal stud. Then we proceed to fit the withdrawal plate. You see, this is the withdrawal plate. And then we close it up with the nut here. Now, when I start pumping in grease, the propeller is going to detach from the taper and it might come and hit this pilgrim nut with great force and damage the threads. So I am going to put a wooden block to take the cushioning. Now we commence pumping in grease through this port. The pressure of the grease will make the nitrile rubber ring extend and transmit the load onto the load ring. And once the nitrile ring expands, the load ring will push the withdrawal plate, which in turn will pull the withdrawal stud. You see, now you can see the fellow getting pushed and the propeller has got detached from the taper. At a particular pressure, when the forces are enough to detach the propeller from the taper, it breaks free and lands on the wooden block. You see the process is very simple. Now next we are going to see the mounting of the propeller. So we have to remove all the tools which we have fitted and fit back the pilgrim nut such that the jack ring faces the propeller boss. That means I have again reversed it. Now when I start Putting in the grease, the nitrile rubber ring will extend and push this jack ring towards the propeller boss and the force thus produced will push the propeller and make it ride on the taper. So let's see that happen. You see. And then it is pushed up the taper. The correct position of the propeller for the required torque is established by means of the axial travel of the propeller on the shaft and also by means of the hydraulic pressure. Since the pilgrim nut is a part of the propeller shaft assembly and provided by the maker, it is reasonable to presume that the hydraulic pressures can also be used as a reference along with the propeller travel distance to arrive at the correct placement of the propeller on the taper. So as a general fundamental rule, the axial push-up of the propeller on the taper 
is the criteria for presuming that the correct transmission torque is uh, going to be delivered and uh, to repeat or summarize the two methods we have it a uh, completely dry fit and a wet fit method and the pilgrim nut method uses a dry fit method of mounting the propeller shaft thanks a lot for watching if you really really like this video please do share subscribe and comment all the best for those who are going for exams and for the sailors a very happy sailing and a happy troubleshooting see you in the next video thank you so much keep watching